I don't know how long I've been on the call. It's 12 minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, let me, let me try to delete one of the accounts. But that's going to be a problem, sir. I'm not being heard because I'm going to get defrauded out of funds. One is like two or three days left, and then the other one is 31 days that I paid for. Okay. No, I understand. Yes, ma'am. Let me get a supervisor on the line for you. Got to get a supervisor. It's deliberate. It's not an accident. Gym membership, stimulus, Social Security Administration, Attorney General, someone is psycho, JPS. My, uh, the issues with the SMI one card getting defrauded out of uh, funds all over the place, and then my credit card company covered for it. It's on purpose. Health and Human Services too, and um, Job Solutions, Workforce Commission's Job Solutions issues with that too, unaddressed. They were supposed to be calling me so we can do job searches. I can have an appointment to do job searches and um, work on employment, and they've never called me back. How long I've been on the phone with this deliberately created issue? I believe it's deliberate. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hi. Yes. So the previous agent was explaining to me that you have two GoPass accounts and you purchased a 31-day pass, but you're not seeing it. I purchased two 31-day passes, and then one has two or three days left, and then one is a full 31 days. And it's saying that it's two on two Dominion devices. It's been all, I've been able to use it all this time. And then the last operator said it was some kind of um, fraud on my account, and then the phone conveniently started breaking up, and she didn't call me back. And then this operator kept saying things, and um, when I say, um, can you repeat that? And then he said yes. And was playing psychological games and mind games. And then he had to get you. I told him that I had a third, uh, I, he wanted to delete one of the accounts, but I, that would defraud, defraud me out of funds because I have two or three days left on one account and then the other one a full 31 days. And why has it not been a problem all this time? Well, I, I can't answer that. From what I'm looking at, I have two accounts for you. Okay. One account, account number two one. Okay, so why is it saying that it's on too many devices? Well, that just means, let's say if you, um, you uh, delete the app and then you reinstall it, the app will take that as another device, even if it is the same device. It's just something that we have in place to ensure that individuals are not sharing the app. Then why does the other one say that it was fraud on my account? That's just, I'm not certain if it was fraud, but the way the app interprets it, if someone is downloading the app multiple times on one account and it sees it's popping up, it, just, it assumes that it's fraud, and that's what we have to read to you. doesn't necessarily mean that that's the case. Well, nothing was different. I didn't reinstall it. I reinstalled it when it um, uh, glitched. It said that it's on too many devices, and my, my devices kept glitching. Each time I tried to use it, it was inconvenience because it restarted and made me have to do it again. Like, I push it and then it, it, in line, and then it was like it had uh, rebooted. I'd go through all the process and log in, and it log out and restart multiple different times when I was in line trying to show my bus pass. This also happens with my devotionals. I'm trying to prove that someone's hacking my phone in malice. So um, then I put it in, and then all this time it's been fine, and then all of a sudden now it glitched and then said it's on too many devices. I've used it all that time with no problem. I didn't reinstall it. That didn't happen. Yeah, I don't think it was you. I don't think it was you. It's probably just a glitch in the system. I don't think that was you. Yeah, I think someone yeah, needs not. to be arrested for all these glitches all over the place, which was I was telling the other representative, and then the phone started breaking up. I think that these are deliberately created glitches and malice. Well, I do know that How do I report that my abuser, I believe my abuser, is uh, controlling my go pass like he's controlling everything else? I mean, well, what you can do is you can definitely 
change their passport, that I think that's one way to help prevent anything, you know, anybody from getting into their no pass. We can do that. Um, as far as getting your 31 day pass, the one that um, you can activate tomorrow, that it'll start working tomorrow because the current one ends today. What the previous agent was suggesting is the account that has nothing active, no funds on it, we can deactivate that account. And that way when you log into your account, you only see that one with the 31 day pass on it. Okay, I think that someone did something. Um, be I'm, I'm, whenever I report things, uh, people talk over me and then blame me for it uh, when they talk over me. Um, it did not start this till today. There was, there was no new download or um, anything like that. I didn't download it again. I think someone is committing crimes and needs a uh, accountability for it. So I guess I just have to go to endure any abuse that the bus driver is going to give me because I think he deliberately caused conflict with the app, forcing me to have to interact with bus drivers then to get disrespected and violated through them. He's been doing things like this years. Opening up the door for conversation and then have me disrespected and mistreated. Okay, ma'am, I'm just trying to incriminate people. This man keeps coming by talking on the phone. I'm all these, out of all these people here, I hit the jackpot and get drowned out all the time. I mean, look at how many people are here, how I'm, isolated and then he's talking on the phone loud oh my device is about to go off it's malfunctioning uh, when i showed the guy that keeps walking by he's talking loud like the security guard came when i was incriminating the smi one card people and the security forced me to leave okay ma'am i'm just trying to show that there's an incredible amount of power that's abused and someone needs accountability for it